Say hello to my little friend. <laughs> hey YouTube, got a package here from Fed Arms. This is my AR-15 pistol. My very first one. And I don't think you can beat the price there. I flipped it over really good for any uh, imperfections or any issues and everything seems to be uh, be quality here. Okay, let's get the upper out. Oh boy, that's pretty. Oh yeah, nice. Nice. Okay, first examination out of the box, everything looks good. And uh, I'm going to put it together and then we'll go over some of the specs on this thing and uh, some mods and accessories uh, that I may add to it. Okay, there's first look. Absolutely beautiful. And I tell you what, I, I never knew why people were so into those ARs until I got one. And now, now I see why they're into the pistols. Man, it is just a, just a fun little toy to... Uh, to play with and I haven't even shot this thing yet. If you go to Fed Arms website which is www.fedarm.com and I'll put the link up there you're gonna be amazed at the prices on everything there from pistols to rifles to shotguns uh, they manufacture uh, their own guns and they have some other guns uh, as well. I'm, I'm gonna go over the details on this but uh, you mean this, the craftsmanship on this Fed Arms upper is just awesome so I Right now, I am 100% satisfied, and I'm going to update you as this goes on. I'm just going to go over some of the specs here, and I'm going to put them up on the screen there so you can see them. It's a 4150 chrome molly barrel. Um, everything on this gun is mil spec. What's going to set this apart for most AR-15 pistols is this comes standard with a free-floating quadrille handguard. And this is manufactured uh, CNC machine-forged aluminum. Most setups, you're going to have to buy this separate, and it's going to run you anywhere from $100 if you get some cheap made in China thing to two or $300. So, you know, we're looking at something that's made in the USA here, folks. Of course, like I said, it's quad railed. Any accessories you want to put on this, it comes with, uh, of course, a really nice setup here to put uh, put optics on. You can put, uh, of course, iron sights, or uh, I've got a uh, Bushnell TRS-25 red dot that I'm going to put on here. I'll probably put some backup iron sights on this too. I really like the low profile gas block. It's ideal for optics. Now this is exactly how the pistol will come. Uh, of course not with a magazine and uh, it's going to come with a, just a foam buffer tube. Uh, I'm going to be making some modifications to this. I'm probably going to be adding a shockwave blade. I'm going to be probably adding a Magpul uh, Plus grip. Possibly a MechForce decal and possibly a mech force muzzle brake depending on whether I go with a suppressor or a muzzle brake but definitely the Bushnell TRS uh, 25 you know, those are all going to come down here so and my plan is I want to paint um, the shockwave blade the grip uh, a magazine not this one and this in uh, multicam I'm also going to paint my little mossy in that uh, that camo, so I'll have uh, two non NFA pistols, one a shotgun, and then my AR. So I'm gonna have those two uh, two matching sets, and uh, that's if I can uh, figure out how to do the camo paint. I've done the Duracoat before, but multicam is a whole nother level. Sold out. I mean, it's just that simple. When you go there, you'll see the prices are so good they can't keep them in stock. And what they're trying to do is they're trying to build up a really good ground level success and they're keeping the prices really low but as supply and demand goes up so will the price. And right now like I say you have to click uh, to get on the waiting list and it took me about a week. They'll send you an email and then you immediately can go and, and purchase uh, the, the rifle or, or whatever you buy. My goal in this project was to find an AR-15 pistol under $500 and the absolute best. So this is what I come up with. Hey, you may come up with, with different ones, but this is what I have narrowed it down to from looking at all the reviews and all the, you know, the feedback. I want to point out something that is made clear on the website, but the upper is a Fed Arms and they also make the lower. Uh, but if they cannot keep up with production, which they can't a lot of times, they will go with a, a mil spec uh, up to their specifications lower. And in this case, 
mine was an Anderson and um, I'm really happy about that because like I say my uh, my regular AR is an Anderson so I'm gonna know exactly uh, how to uh, you know to maneuver this thing to change out some things of course uh, the KNS anti-rotational pins those are gonna be going on here I'll give you a shot at the bottom of this okay passed the first test of inspection now we're gonna take this thing out to the range and see how it works Remember, cheek weld. Not the shoulder. Oh. Cheek weld. Not the shoulder. Cheek weld. 